All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be solving the equation two to the power of x to the power of three plus two to the power of x to the power of three is equal to one. So to start off, I'm gonna first start by factoring out from the left-hand side. And I'm gonna factor out two to the power of x to the power of three because it's there twice. So now I get two to the power of x to the power of three times one plus one, two to the power of x to the power of three divided by two to the power of x to the power of three is one, is equal to one. And one plus one, as you all most likely know, is two. So I get two to the power of x to the power of three times two is equal to one. Now two is the same thing as two to the power of one. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m times a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m plus n. So I get two to the power of x to the power of three times two to the power of one, which is equal to two to the power of x to the power of three plus one. And now I'm gonna rewrite one as two to the power of zero. So I get two to the power of x to the power of three plus one is equal to two to the power of zero. And now the final exponent property that I'm gonna use is if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, x to the power of three plus one is equal to zero. So now to solve this, I'm going to use an algebraic property that states that if I have something in the form a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3, this is equal to a plus b times a squared minus ab plus b squared. So this is going to equal x plus 1 times x squared minus x plus 1 is equal to 0. So I get two equations. I get x plus 1 equals 0 and x squared minus x plus 1 is equal to 0. So for x plus 1 equals 0, this turns to x is equal to negative 1. And for x squared minus x plus 1 equals 0, I can use the quadratic formula. So I get x is equal to negative of negative 1 plus or minus the square root of negative 1 squared, which is 1, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 1, all over 2a, so 2 times 1. Now this is equal to one plus or minus the square root of one minus four over two, which is equal to one plus or minus the square root of negative three over two. Now the square root of negative three is the same thing as the square root of three times the square root of negative one over two, which is equal to one plus or minus the square root of three i over two. So these are two more solutions.